Hey, what's going on? It's Bark, coming at you in a squeaky chair with another obscure microphone video for you. And today, we've got the Voisel Air from Pixel. The Voisel Air from Pixel. Let's go ahead and show you everything that comes in the box. All right, so we have a lot to unbox here with the Voisel Air from Pixel. But, I digress. So, first things first, you get a nice pouch, zipper pouch, kind of like a vinyl-y leather kind of thing going on here. Pretty decent. Let's go ahead and move that back, move the box out of the way. Got some documentation, which is just great. Which is just great. Got a shoe mount for a camera which we will probably use that. So we'll set it off to the side. This little pouchy thing. We've got the receiver, the Voiceo Air receiver has a microphone input. Well, you know, your input to go into your source and some a headphone jack to monitor on the bottom volume up and down and we got a settings button and USB-C is how this charges that's a welcome addition welcome sight from a Rode Wireless Go ripoff then we actually have the mic the mic itself and I'm not joking it has a built-in mic and an aux to plug your mic in Volume up and down on that end as well, and some settings, power button, and again, USB-C charging. Not so bad. Litany of accessories. First accessory. What is this? Why can't I open it? What is going on? All right. Okay, we've got the lavalier mic that comes with the voice aware from pixel we have USB-C cable or cables I think it's just a cable which is really thick and sturdy that's what she said <laughs> it's closed damn it all right uh, another USB-C cable. Not messing with that. Then we've got a TRRS cable. I'm not really going to open that. It's your three rings. Three ring TRRS cable. And then we also have... I think I lost one. Oh yeah, no. Then we've got our camera cable. So, two rings. Perfect for DSLR. Let's hook them up. Okay, so now we've got the Voiceo Air Pixel hooked up like we did in the beginning of the video. But you get the sound comparison. So right now I'm just talking into the built-in microphone that is on the Voiceo Air. Built-in microphone, this is what it sounds like. Uh, I had it clipped on here, but I think a, like a, a collared shirt would be a lot better for this. So I'm just gonna kind of talk into it like this. So wirelessly transmitting from here to my Canon Rebel, blah, blah, blah. And this is what this sounds like. And I like the fact that it has a headphone jack in because I'm monitoring everything that's going on, which I think is pretty cool. So kind of a cool feature, built-in mic. I know the Rode Wireless Go has a built-in mic. This is a competitor to the Rode Wireless Go. Make no mistake about it, it's a little bit bigger but it's a whole lot cheaper. You got a nice little digital readout there on the screen. I don't know if you can see that very well, but you got a digital readout. Got a digital readout. I, I just I, I just really wanted you to know that you have a digital readout. Uh, let's go ahead and hook up the lav mic and see what that sounds like with the Voisel Air from Pixel. Okay, so now we've got the, uh, the lav mic that was included. I'll try to clip this on ye old shirt 
and see what that sounds like, which I probably have to turn up the volume on the receiver. I don't even want to do that. So I'm just going to pretend I got a collared shirt and hold, hold this right here. This is what it sounds like uh, with the lab mic. So I don't think the lab mic sounds that bad. I wish I had a good shirt to put it on, but that doesn't sound so bad at all. Now for the final test. Uh, I'm going to hook this up to a microphone with an XLR to three quarter cable and then see what we got there wirelessly using a sure microphone from me to the camera. So let's do that. Now battery life. It says uh, it gets about six hours. I use this for a day. It gets like two. It gets it gets two. The distance you can walk away from it is 70 meters. Hey, let's go with 50. Let's, let's go with 50 meters. So let's grab that microphone and see if it will power, if this little device here will power a microphone to use instead of the lab mic. All right, so I'm gonna unplug this, which will default back to the built-in mic. So now you can hear what the built-in mic sounds like in comparison to the lab mic. Okay, in goes the aux jack. And if you didn't know what I was saying, I was saying we have no sound at all. Okay, so I have to get right up on this thing because it really doesn't pick it up that greatly. Let's see if I can boost the volume a little bit. Not really. But I can hear myself in the headphones talking into this Shure RS230. So I do know that that works. And I will boost the audio to this in post. And I'll put in the description here how much I boosted it. But hey. The Voicel Air from Pixel, that's pretty cool. You got US, you know, I'm gonna unplug this. You got USB, ha <laughs> You've got USB-C charging. You've got a mic built in. So I could essentially just clip this onto just about anything. I did say just about. So I can clip this onto just about anything. Ah, look at that. And, uh, and use this as a wireless mic solution to my DSLR. Is that right? DLSR? And for a lot cheaper than the Rode Wireless Go. So it doesn't sound too awfully noisy, but it doesn't sound extremely, extremely clean. But hey, it's wireless. It's UHF wireless. So the Pixel Voice Air wireless microphone system, not so bad. Kind of cool kind of a fun toy to play with. And if you use cameras and, and you don't need the premium sound quality, but you want a good sound quality, I think this fits the bill. So Pixel, Voice Air, it's not about sounding pro. Does it say pro? It does say pro on the box. To me, it's about getting better sound than a built-in mic in the camera. So Voice Pixel Air, link in the description, obscure mics, kind of an obscure device. Just wanted to try it and have fun. And I did. Hope you did too. Obscure Mike's peace out.